Welcome to Let's Play Smoothie Galaxy. Smoothie Galaxy is actually a very short, kind of Zelda-like game made for the GM48 Jam. This is the game, the 48-hour Game Maker Jam. So this game was made in 48 hours for a game jam. The theme of this particular jam was Escape. The game was made by Pixel Boy, who does predominantly some pretty phenomenal pixel artwork, but is also working on a kind of an, a 2D, 2D semi-3D engine with a much larger company whose name escapes me. But without further ado, let's start up Smoothie Galaxy. Error. There's an error, but I can't do anything about it. I don't know. We sort of crashed. X to interact. Okay, I have to find those items. Taking a gun, pew pew pew. And then C's jump. Look at me jumping. Let's go out into this wild place and find us our parts. Need all ship parts to escape from the planet. There's four parts total, as we saw before. We can shoot guys. And that's about the. That's about what our story is. Look at all these guys I can shoot. They're aggressive. I ensure. I assure you. I'm not just showing up and randomly taking out all wildlife. Ugh. Now, the version that I'm playing now isn't actually the exact version that was released during the Game Jam. This is the post-jam version of the game, which is a... Really little more was done than some minor bug fixing, and he added an ending that he didn't have time to add prior. I got a shell. An awesome shell. If you hold down the shoot button, you can strafe. So I'm gonna take a look around outside, see what I can find. And if you die, you do not have to start all over. They respawn, effectively respawn you back at your ship. Ah, this guy shoot at me. Respawn you back at your ship. In fact, you keep everything that you collected right up until you died. This actually looks really neat, like hey, we'll be able to go up there at some point, but we never can. Something for the future, I guess. Hey, I think I can jump that far. And I can get a jetpack. You can now fly, yippee! Look at me flying! And getting up there looks like a cool idea. Real nice, kind of like semi peaceful music going on. Okay, so there's a little cave there we could go in. Inside that cave is really dark though, so we're not really going to be able to see anything if we do go in. Yeah, I made it! This guy wants a shell. Hey, I just picked up a shell. What's he giving me? Weapon upgrade! Pew 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 times two! Yeah. Look at that gun firing super fast. Now this rock over here is actually a dude. If you get close to him, he wakes up. This guy's mean. And he shoots at you a lot. So sometimes he just wrecks me. He decided not to shoot at all that time, though. I'm not entirely sure how his AI works in that regard. Hey, staircase. Shooting some guys. 
Spike things hurt when you touch them, obviously. This guy shoots spikes. Big ol' spiky guy. And when you kill all the dudes... Come on, dude. Worker thing. That opens up when we go up here. Oh, man. One more life. One more chance. Oh, no, I got hit. I don't actually have to kill everything in order to get out, but everything's kind of in your way. So that's up th that up there is where we went before. Can I get up on top of that? Ah, yeah, there's a guy. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get up there. That's cool. Uh, whenever you go inside and outside of a place, everybody respawns. So, important to keep in mind. I think we're starting to run out of places to go, though, so I'm gonna head over here. Blow up all of these rocks. Can I break these? There we go. There's a big old gray guy in here. And some nice stuff on the other side. And this gray guy, he'll just sit there and not do anything until you shoot him. At which point he freaks out and comes after you. But I got a pew 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 times two! Whoa. He's spawning these little guys. A little annoying. Oh, I killed him. Okay. That's what the pew 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 times two does. One more life. One more chance. I got a drone! And he's equipped with a torch! And a ship part! So that's two ship parts. And I have the jetpack, and a little, little drone dude. The drone dude's awesome, because he shoots the guys. He's also equipped with a torch, so we can go inside that dark place. Hey, that was rude. Maybe those guys don't actually attack him. Maybe I'm just a jerk. No, I'm sure they're evil. Come on, dudes. Walk into the light. So, you know, before you came in here, you had a circle of visibility around you that was a little larger than the size of your character. Like, you would really walk into something before you knew it was actually there. There's another one of these guys down here that's really mean. Ah, he shot at me. I got him, though. This drone's alright. Looks like a mushroom. Oh, I want that. I gotta go back. Gotta go up here and get it. I got a ship part. Can't go over there, though. There's just one ship part left I need. Oh, this is... Gotta fight another boss. Let's go! Ah, he's shooting at me! Oh no, I died! Just need one ship part left, and I'm sure that guy's holding it. We just gotta get in there. Dodging that guy's shots is difficult sometimes. Because he shoots in like bullet curtain y kind of patterns, and sometimes it's just hard to tell like what exact bullet is going where. Alright, big guy, let's try this again. And by that, I mean like. For that one, you just want to run off to the side, but you don't always just want to just run off to the side. Also, these rocks get blown up, so you can't just hide behind them all the time. Oh, what the crap? You're a rock at me! Heck, right, we're throwing rocks at me! I think I just walked into literally every one of those. Heck yeah, being a bad shot. Go! 
Got him. One more life. One more chance. And our final ship part. Yeah. Somebody died. We don't really need the extra life because at this point we're done. Don't have to fight anything big and bad. We just gotta get out of here. I think it would be cool if we got something that let us break these. Like we can leave on our ship. I mean, it's a game jam game, so this is understandably a very short game. It was made in 48 hours, for Pete's sake. But like, I don't know, I want more of this game. I want a gun that can break these gray things. So I want to come back. I want to get in my ship and take off and just go to a different planet. Where there's more game. Where I get a gun that lets me break these things. And then I come back to this planet and I go up there. I want more game. I like Zelda-like games. Like these games are just alright. And there really needs to be more Zelda-like games out there. Yeah, let's go. I like Game Jam games because I find the games that I enjoy a lot more are the games that are less viable commercially. Like, man, I love this game. Stupid little game, small little game. A little experimental things, but they're just less viable commercially, so you're not going to see people make, like, full games out of a lot of these really great game jam games. So it feels I feel bad because I'm not going to see full versions of a lot of these games, but at least I still get to experience them. If, if even in only a small little setting. But that was Smoothie Galaxy, made for GM, the GM48 Jam. The game was made in 48 hours. It was done by Pixel Boy. And I beat it in 10 minutes and 46 seconds, and I died once. Beat it 100%, yeah! Until next time, everybody.